Hello, hello, you people out there in YouTube land. How do you do? Yes, we are along this busy road. But where are we? Are we lost? Are we getting lost? No, 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 we are not. It may seem like we are, but we are not. We are looking for a food center that's hidden behind these blocks, these HDB blocks. And the name of this place is called ABC Brickworks Food Center. A food center that you could go past without noticing that is hidden behind all these HDB flats. And we're coming here to try a very popular food. A food that has long queues, most of the time is operating. And here we are. So if you want to eat the do, eat the dish, you have to queue up. The name of the shop is called Tiong Baru Yishen Fried Hokkien Prawn Mee. And they sell Hokkien Prawn Mee. Fried Hokkien Prawn Mee. And this place opens slightly after lunch all the way past dinner time until they sell out totally. I don't eat this dish often. The main reason is because there's always a queue and you have to queue up. But this is what you get. I ordered from them. They are fried Hokkien prawn mee, the largest portion, which cost me $6. And here it is, the dish, the noodles. There are two types of noodles here. And then there is, of course, some lime, which you need to put onto the noodles to give it the extra nice, zesty flavor. And then, what's the important ingredient here? that makes this dish so good, so delicious, so, so, so yummy is the delicious, deep flavored, beautiful seafood broth that they use to make the noodles that is absorbed into the noodles and it gives it a very delicious, very yummy smell. So, as you can see, first of all, there are two types of noodles. There is the yellow noodles and then the green bihun noodles. And also, and of course, this they make a delicious, delicious seafood broth that has been absorbed into the noodles. And then, as you can see, it comes together with prawns. And then, of course, some squid or sotong. And then, cooked together with egg. And of course, at the side, there is the lime and the sambal chili. Oh, look at this. All soft. All, when you eat this, you barely need to chew. And a very moist, a very delicious plate of noodles. Oh, 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 look at that. The reason why it's not more soupy is because the broth has already been absorbed into the noodles. Are you ready to rumble like I am? Rumble after all the... Yes, you need to put in the lime. The lime adds in a bit of sweetness, a bit of zestiness, a bit of this sourness that helps to highlight the seafood flavour of the broth that has been absorbed into the noodles. And I cannot wait to eat this. One of the reasons why uh, I order the biggest portion is I do not come here often so when I do come here often to eat and line up for the noodles I would want to maximize my satisfaction by having the biggest the large portion you know and then it smells good it tastes good it is just so 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 yummy look at that oh yes gentle kiss a gentle blow blowing the curry down and the first bite is just so heavenly I must see that taste is good oh second bite and still just as good as the first bite 
yes, a delicious, nice seafood broth flavor coming from the noodles. The noodles soft and tender. You barely need any any effort to chew it. Then eggy too because of the fried egg in there. And then what you need to do is of course add in the sambal chili. This the sambal chili. Not only does it add spiciness to the dish, but it also adds in an extra layer of flavor. So now yeah, put the prawns aside. The main star of the show now is the noodles. So let's have some noodles with the sambal. And look at that. Doesn't the noodles look much much redder? Yes, that really hits the spot. Mm. That's good. That's very, very good. You have the nice spiciness to now. And then, if you eat it together with some squid, the squid will give a nice, contrasting, chewier bite texture as compared to the noodles. Very yummy. First of all, damn good. And you have the noodles. A very nice deep deep seafood stock flavor. Mm. Then you have the two noodles, the thick yellow noodles, and then the thin noodles, thin two noodles. Both of them are soft and tender. As you are chewing through it, you know, enjoying the nice flavor of the seafood, right into the chili sotong stick. So, and then, and then the eating and chewing the sambal chili. The sambal chili adds another spiciness, another extra layer of flavor, spiciness. Sambal chili flavor that mm. just brings it up to that extra notch. Mm. I ordered the biggest portion, six dollars, because the queue is long, so I don't often come here. Either. So when I do, I normally try to <coughs> eat as much as I can until the next time.
and this just definitely does that. Mm. Portion size for the last one is also huge on the with three huge bronze. Uh, huge for Singapore center. This place sells one of the better fried Hokkien prawn meat in Singapore. If you like this dish, come here and give it a try. And unfortunately, that's the end of our food adventure here today. Yep. So, uh, as per usual, you know what to do. Like, share and subscribe. I got Patreon, I got PayPal. Support me on those. Uh, yep. Watch some of my old videos. Yep, that's, um, that's another way for you to support this channel. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next adventure. I will see you guys around. Bye-bye.